Hello everyone, I hope you are doing great. This is Pradeep Kumar from Device Bar. In this video, we will set up our Google TV streamer 4K and connect this to our TV. So let's check it out. We got this from Amazon. I'll share the product link in the description along with our unboxing and first impressions video. You can check it out after watching this video if you're interested. Now let's set up. Before we start, we need to have the following 5 things. HDMI 2.1 cable, 4K TV or monitor with HDMI support, Google account, Google home app, Wi-Fi or Ethernet connection. Please keep all of them handy. We don't uh, get any HDMI cable with this device. We have to use or buy one separately for this. Unlike Chromecast, this new Google TV streamer is mainly designed to be kept at the front and not the back of the TV. I heard this is because it will give us good connectivity for the remote or something. So we can keep this at the front if we want. Now take the USB A to USB C cable and charger that we got with the box and connect this to the device via the USB type C port here. Uh, in this case, I have to use a different charger since I am from India and this is the US version. I can also use an adapter for this. So two ways are there. Connect it here. This is actually a very lengthy cable. Okay. Now take the HDMI 2.1 cable that you have and connect this to the HDMI port at the back of the streamer. So that's all. Now we have to connect this to the power source and uh, connect this to the HDMI port on our TV. Connecting this to the power source. And connecting this to the HDMI port on the back side of our TV. I have kept the Google TV streamer at the front of our TV. I have a three year old baby son and I really hope he doesn't mess with this. In one way I am glad there is no physical buttons at the front side. After we are done with all this, we can switch on the TV. We have to do that using our TV remote. Switch on. Then we have to select the HDMI input for Google TV streamer 4K. We have to go to source and then select this unknown. Scanning for devices. It may take some time for the first time connection. It is taking a lot more time than I expected. Unknown, you can set up this device manually so you can control with your smart. Okay, we can try to do this manually. Set up. Start. Uh, I think OTT box. TV directly. I am not able to find uh, Google here. Okay, <laughs> just like that all of a sudden I got the screen to pair the Google TV, Google, Google TV streamer 4K remote. To start pairing, I have to press and hold the back button and home button at the same time till we see this uh, light blinking here. So I am going to do that. Press an old back button and home button at the same time. We can see the light blinking and it got connected. Okay. I can use the Google TV streamer remote now. It got paired and this is the language selector screen. I am going to select English here. And uh, I'm going to choose India. I hope I can change these settings later, but India for now. 
we are going to do this using the Google Home app. Make sure you have installed the Google Home app on your mobile phone. This app is available for both iOS and Android devices. Uh, we can also do this using the TV but it will take a lot more time than that. After installing the app, log into the app using your Google account. Select next. Choose your, okay, not now. And we will get a screen like this. Here go to devices. Select add device. And select uh, Google Nest or partner device. Uh, they haven't mentioned Google TV streamer 4K here, but I hope they do this on the next update. Select this and uh, home OK. Select next now. Turn on Bluetooth. OK, turn on. Hello. Looking for devices. It will scan for any nearby Google Chromecast or Google TV streamer. OK. Our Google TV streamer device got uh, detected. We have to select yes now. It looks like you are using a Google Workspace account which may not support all features. OK. I think we have to use the default at uh, gmail.com to make the most out of this. Mm, OK. I will use another email address. OK, I have added another email address now, the default normal at gmail.com email address. I am going to do the process again. Go to devices, create home. OK, I will just put this home itself. Next, skip, continue without address. Looking for devices. Okay, uh, t Google TV streamer found. Would you like to set up? Yes. We have to give the camera permission uh, to scan the QR code. So scan code while using the app. And we have to scan this uh, QR code on the TV screen. This is a setup code. So yeah, I think it, <laughs> I think it automatically got scanned. Connect. Okay. Now we have to follow the instructions in the Google Home app. Okay. It's good to read all the agreements and permissions. So yeah, accept. Where is this device? I would say bedroom. Next. Custom. Okay. And we have to connect this to our Wi-Fi. And we have to enter the Wi-Fi password. After entering the password, connect. Connecting to Wi-Fi, Google TV streamers now connecting to slash core, which is our uh, Wi-Fi name and our company name. Connecting, connecting, connected. Okay, sign in with your Google account. Okay, continue. Oh, we have to verify as well. Okay. Couldn't sign in, please try again. Okay, I'll select try again now. Your Google account is already signed in. Next. Okay, we have a software update. Your Google TV streamer will restart and install a software update. While it restarts, continue with set setup here. Okay, continue. Okay, all these are permissions. Again, it's good to read all of them. And uh, we don't have to select all the information here. We can deselect them if we want. Okay, accept. Continue. Search across all your TV apps. Hello. Set up voice match on devices at home. You okay, continue. Okay. Again, please read all this. Uh, I'll explain in detail about all of them later. Help improve audio technologies by saving audio. Not now. I think we have a lot of permissions and agreements. I don't know. 
नेक्स्ट नॉट नो नो थैंक्स ओके कंटिन्यू डन I think we have completed the setup. Press and hold the back. System update is getting installed. Your Google TV streamer will restart automatically when the installation is complete. Personally, I think some of the setup instructions were really complicated because. at one point they said they couldn't connect my google account and uh, i also get some other uh, minor uh, misdirections but i think at the end of the day we have done with the setup even at the beginning they were not able to detect uh, using the hdmi and i did this manually when even after that it got automatically connected and yeah we are going to complete this 215 mb restarting Do we have the Google logo? G logo. It is taking some time to okay. Google TV that welcome screen. I'll remove all this loading screen time to make the video short. I'll remove all this. Re-establishing your network connection. Okay, connected. They have started some construction work nearby, so please ignore the sound. Please wait. you are signed in with uh, okay this email address okay we can uh, continue with this okay accept google services on 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 okay accept but please read all of them all of these carefully no thanks choose your uh, services Netflix Prime Video, okay. They have uh, handpicked the popular Indian OTT apps here, so I'll select all of them. I'll choose the apps for which I have the membership, and also please do read the this section. I think it looks interesting. I'll select the OTT apps now. Netflix, I have Prime, I have Jio Cinema, Hotstar, C5. Sony. I think I have account and both the membership. Aha, uh -huh. an Apple TV Plus, my new favorite. Okay, confirm. Setting up your TV. Google TV streamers remote is set up. Ah, uh, we can now okay continue. get personalized recommendations from across your streaming services okay i think it will take some time to set up the tv play a sound to help find your remote you can also customize a button on your remote to open a favorite app or google home on your tv okay search with google add favorites to your google tv watch list okay cast videos music and more from your phone tablet or laptop to your tv nice control lights cameras thermostats and more uh, from your tv you can also customize a button on your remote to open google home okay so this or the stuff it will take some time to set up i guess i'll uh, make this video short I think it almost took ten minutes for the setup, and we got the screen. Get the most out of your Google TV, Google Photos, a screen saver, multiple profile, children's feature. Okay, we can go to Google TV now, and this is the home page. Looks nice. That's all. We can check out all the movies that we have on the OTT apps we selected. We can uh, select any movie we want, 
and it will show where it is available and we also get the rating and other stuff cast and other recommendations we have to log into the app once again it doesn't matter if you have already signed in to your TV's prime video account we have to do all these once again this Google TV streamer 4K is really helpful if you have multiple OTT apps like 5, 7, even 10 OTT apps. If you want to search a movie, you can use this device to search and it will analyze all the OTT apps and let us know on which platform this movie is available. And we have a lot of other cool features as well. We will use this device for a few days and publish our full review. So uh, please wait for that. So these are the steps to set up Google TV streamer 4K on our TV. Thanks for watching this video. Do kindly share your questions and thoughts in the comment section. Please do subscribe if you find this video helpful. Have a wonderful day and night.